My name's Andy Wilson. Uh, I'm the executive producer at Hangar 13, which is a, a studio owned by 2K. Um, the game we just released was Mafia 3. Um, my job basically is to, or has been, to build the studio, to hire the team, to define what our development processes are going to be, um, and then to kind of work with a creative director to establish how we're going to build the game, what the game's going to be, that kind of thing. Initially, with the kind of games that we make, which are these sort of big budget AAA games, um, it's usually uh, a case where uh, creative director producers and design directors and, and sort of like the senior creatives on the team will kind of come together and, and work on a pitch for, you know, the game that they want to make that they feel is exciting and, and that they think is, is, you know, something new and something different. Um, and that's done in conjunction with the, the sort of publishing side of the organization. So the publishing side, you know, they can control the finances. They also uh, control all the marketing. They kind of work out what's viable, what's not going to be viable. And together we kind of collectively uh, come to the decision of what, you know, what kind of game we're going to make. My first job in the industry was as a production manager um, for a company called Climax, which became BlackRock. I kind of knocked on the door of the games industry for about four years after graduating and kind of couldn't get in because back then the industry was very small and it was very difficult just to walk straight in off the street. Um, so I actually worked in a different industry for a while uh, and tried to get a skill set that I thought would be comparable and then one day um, kind of just got this, this break after many, many failed attempts, didn't give up, carried on trying. Um, and so I was working with a team of about 15, 16 people uh, making uh, the MotoGP series, which is a, a kind of bike racing game on the uh, Xbox and then the Xbox 360. To be a producer, you have to have a good brain for organization. You have to kind of get a bit of a thrill from taking these kind of complex jigsaw pieces and actually finding a, a kind of clear path forwards. You have to be a people person. You have to be prepared to listen to people. You have to be prepared to absorb a lot of other people's problems and work out how you can kind of fix those so that you can keep the whole system running. Um, and you really just have to be um, someone who is uh, prepared to kind of roll up their sleeves and get their hands dirty, not the sort of person who just wants to sit behind their desk and, and have a desk job. You have to be very kind of on your feet and, and very kind of engaged. The world is very, very different to how it was kind of 15, 20 years ago. There are so many more resources that you have. A lot of students in college now who are kind of forming groups and actually building their own stuff. Um, and if you want a job in games, there's nothing better than actually showing something that you've already built. And many of these tools, uh, they don't have to be intimidating. They're actually very, very user friendly. They're designed with people who don't have any experience in mind, but just have a good idea and want to actually follow a process to build that thing. Be proactive, you know, and, and if you're particularly if you're in college or university right now, don't just rely on going to lectures and doing exams, actually use your spare time to, to create things because that will be the best, the best way to get in. Don't give up, you know, like it, there's this, um, this feeling that the industry is very closed, you know, a bit like kind of Hollywood and it's very, sticks to itself, but it's very, very possible. You just have to keep trying. And if you get knockbacks, just learn from it and then try again and try again and try again until you get what you want.